<laughs> well, there you go. There's the top ten cowbell songs. I can't believe I sat on that for two weeks. Yeah. Dad, she blew my mind. Feels great to get it out of your system, right? I it's think it's a, I th- a pretty cool list. I yeah. mean, it's finally the cowbell. I think we just had a little trek through AOR Radio Land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look how fast we got through that pl- uh, playlist, too. <laughs> radio. You got to love it, too. Oh, oh rock boy. radio is the best, man. Try it sometime. It yeah. works. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So there you go, gang. That's what's going on with the, the top ten. We got one news story before we uh, play you some tunes, go into, wor- go into words, and then uh, play you the Tommy James interview. So we got a lot of things still going on. Okay, Kiss frontman Gene Simmons voted for President Barack Obama, but now he says he's regretting his decision. The outspoken rock legend and Gene Simmons family, Jules Patriarch, tells CNN he voted for Obama because he was, quote, a moment in history. 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 (laughs) Simmons says while he normally doesn't like rock stars talking about politics, he wanted to explain he voted for Obama because he believed electing him would help erase some of the pain of slavery and other racist elements of American history. No, that's Lincoln. Uh, (laughs) However, uh, Simmons says Obama's policies have turned him off. So Gene Simmons wanting to, uh, I don't know if they're going to have a big great voter recall for the uh, the 2008 election. (laughs) <laughs> we got recalls closer to home here now. Yeah, uh, recounts. When is that going to end? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't care which side you're on. It, it's kind of become. I think it's Florida's hanging chads. They got the whole ball rolling on that bad. <laughs> that boy. whole debacle in 2000 down there with the presidential election is inspired. And look at us a few years ago with yeah. the, the with the Senate. With, you know, the election with oh yeah yeah with yeah. Coleman and, and Franken. Now Emmer Emmer is really you know really he really thinks that the, you know counting all these votes and these contested votes is it was, you know Dayton has like an eight thousand vote lead I, I think it's a little bit different this time around I mean yeah. I, I, I think I think it's time to just let go of the stone uh, yeah uh. pass the torch buddy so Lawson who'd you vote for I voted for Obama but you know after for the for the Minnesota a, 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 oh, oh no 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 back back to what you say oh, yeah. back to what you're saying about <laughs> Obama. Oh, Back okay. to your Obama. I want to hear. I want to hear Slaus and well, soapbox. Well, after gas going up another day, well, I I I want to take my vote back too. I think. Too. Gas. <laughs> oh man. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> it's just because the American dollar is uh, kind of puttering out. So so it's Slauson, like the Canadian dollar. Slaus and please forward. elaborate on this. Oh. <laughs> As Slaus opens okay. up another another tasteful uh, time with Slaus. <laughs> a testimonial here. So what is the deal? You voted Obama, and yeah. now you've changed your mind. Well, I mean, he's all about change. What has changed? Tell me what has changed. Well, you, <laughs> keep 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 it going here, pal. <laughs> I mean, really, uh, you know, oh, people God, talk about talk about the economy and all that stuff. I've heard nothing about the economy, this economy, that. It's like I don't work for a big business. I just work for Hugo's, you know. And, Hey, Unless there was a, a way or a recession geez, going on there. Was that a shameless plug right I there? I think so, yeah. Panda alert. Oh, my I love panda. God. They call me the panda bear. Anyway. <laughs> call you a panda bear? Panda bear. Not oh. panda bear. <laughs> What's that wonton panda bear? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I don't know. I, I just think with gas going higher and higher, no pun intended to Jackie Robinson or Jackie Wilson or whatever. Jackie Robinson. Jackie Wilson. Yeah. Okay, no anyway. that's like, geez. Uh. Yes, yeah, Lawson, so you, it's an, let's end your quote here before we... Pretty much, I just, uh, I'm waiting for that change that he's talking oh, about. Yeah. Are no. you sure <laughs> to make me, like, reminisce the days of working adult contemporary radio, too? Yeah. Yeah. I, so, Slauson, <laughs> have, you finally, have you finally rested your case here? I don't think the case will ever be rested. I tell you. <laughs> what would you do if you had, the, if you were president right now? I would make, I would turn back the clock. I'd make it just like it was 20 years ago. Nin- uh, what I, was I, was, I was waiting for you to say 1956. Better times, <laughs> better times. When no. everybody liked Ike. There was, there was war, yes. First, but there you got to get the flux capacitor. Nobody was afraid of, <laughs> of, nobody was afraid of stuff. You know, after 9/11, people started getting scared and. And now we got uh, airport security. Everybody filling each other up, and I don't well, know. Well, you got <laughs> freaks to go to the airport so they can just get a little. Pat yeah, now. yeah, yeah. That'd I mean, be me, man. Yeah, we'd be all of us. Yeah. Probably. So come 2012, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world is over. <laughs> no, no, the world isn't over. It's a new world. Vote Slauson. It's like what, what are the days of uh, Sam Kinison and Andrew Dice Clay? Everything they used to talk about in their comedy, you know, it's like coming to life. Where did you? How did you get in that I direction? Don't know. I don't know.
You, you kind of remind me of Sam Kinison. You kind of look like Sam Kinison. That's in the face, it. anyway. It's that campaign <laughs> chatter. <laughs> Should we go uh, do anyway. a quick word and get into this Tommy James interview? Because I think we need to reload and reboot Probably, here. Probably, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, and that was... Was, uh, Did you learn anything from that little rant at all? Or uh, it makes me want to go home and watch C-SPAN. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's, that's good or bad. <laughs> yeah, let's... Let, let's you know, you should <laughs> never touch that on radio. You should let the other uh, stations do it, like NPR and... You know. I was asked the question, I answered it. You know, but, so. uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you just passed the no-spin zone, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. We I got know a, we're spinning, but... We no. got a big interview here. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a nice, extensive interview, so you guys can uh, go take a break. Uh Go, go tinkle. Slauson's <laughs> got a couple cigarettes he's got to smoke. Yeah, yeah let's uh, go up to the schooner for a quick bump. Hey. We'll be right back. Tuesday Night Experiment Tommy James interview <laughs> is next. Buying. Hi, I'm Missy from the Pennington County Humane Society. And I'm Linda. And we want to tell you about a dog that is in need of someone that can take on a little bit of a challenge. Barney is a very sweet, very, very shy uh, black lab mix. And he's been there quite a while. And maybe some of you remember Lady, a dog that was um, who had been at the shelter for the longest time. She had been there about three years, I think. And Barney, I think, is the next oldest one there. And he's quite a shy dog and um, just needs to find out that someone is that person he can trust for the rest of his life. Barney has been used to living at the shelter his whole life, so he hasn't he hasn't had a chance to try out independent living. If you are interested in being the person who takes Barney into your home, please give a call or stop out at the shelter during regular business hours. And also remember that there's lots of other dogs out there too, that, that almost every day you can find a dog that's so in need of someone to love and take them on and show them that the world is a good place. The Pennington County Humane Society. Pause TRF.org. Pioneer 90.1. KSRQ, Thief River Falls, Grand Forks. A service of Northland Community and Technical College. Hi, Glenn Brockett here with the Tuesday Night Experiment Pioneer 90.1 FM. And it's time to introduce my special guest. Uh, and I've, I don't know, I've tried to get him on the show a couple of times to do it to just some malfunctions. We weren't able to connect. And finally, I'm able to talk with him about an amazing book he put out earlier this year. A document of his, his crazy life in music. It's called Me... The mob and the music, one hell of a ride with Tommy James and the Shondells. I want to give a big Northwestern Minnesota welcome, finally, to Mr. Tommy James. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to talk hey, with us. it's great to talk with you. It really is. Yeah, you know, and, and I totally apologize for the couple of times over the last year and a half where we just, we were almost <laughs> there, but we just didn't quite That's connect. okay, man. I think the wires froze up or something. Yeah, but you know, it's great now that we're able to talk, and on the day we're talking, we're in the middle of a, a great snowstorm, a late November snowstorm. It's, I don't know how much more of this I'm going to take, and I, we haven't even reached December. I, listen, I love Minnesota, I dearly love it, but i got to tell you, you guys are getting snow way before you deserve it this year. Oh, and ain't that the truth? And it is, it, it, you know, it's, 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 it's. it's it's normally pretty pretty snowy up there, but this year you really got tanked. I I've been keeping my eye on you. <laughs> you know, and a lot of people who I've talked to uh, from my mother's generation and stuff mention when I say the name Tommy James and I'm going to be able to chat with Tommy James. They're like, oh, I saw him at the Hallock Hall way back in the <laughs> mid to late 1960s. Yeah, man. Well, we've been out to Minnesota uh, for literally uh, four decades now. That's the truth. Yeah, and you were up here, uh, what was it, last year? I last think? year yeah. we were up near, uh, at the, where the, uh, 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 oh, God, I can't think of the name. Manolman Shooting Star Casino, I think. That's you, it, that's it. Yeah, I remember, uh, I, I, I think something came up where I, I was going to head on down to the show and uh, some last-minute family emergency, and I was just like, this better be important. And we, we were, down. before that, we were up in, uh, not too long before that, up where the Mayo Clinic is, up in, um, oh. come on, come on, come on, you're from Minnesota. Rochester. Huh? Were you Rochester, up in Rochester? That's right. Well, oh, I was just right. waiting for you to get it before I, I threw. I tried doing my two sets. <laughs> yeah, I'm <here>. the worst. <laughs> oh, in this book, uh, like I said, uh, the the week it came out, I remember hearing about it. You know, getting from your uh, checking out your website and stuff, hearing uh, rumblings about your autobiography and sure. just little teasers about your life and music. And when it finally came out. I went and got it. It took me two days to read. I was just glued to this thing. It was the best time spent on a weekend reading about the great music and memories of your career. Well, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. You know, it's in its sixth printing now through Simon & Schuster.